Howdy, y'all. I'm, uh, who am I? I'm Ryan from RNA Music. It's Saturday. It's Saturday vlog time. So, stinking excited. We're gonna have a good time today, guys and girls and circles. It's vlog time. That's right, welcome back. I am Ryan, one of the two owners of RNA Music, which is a small mom and pop guitar shop music lesson studio deep in the heart of Texas, <laughs> which is where we are today. And we're gonna start off today with one of the most Texas things you can do. And uh, then we're gonna be at the shop for a little while, possibly playing some music. I don't think I have to teach any lessons today, but I'm, I might have some student band rehearsals. It just depends on time frames. So yeah, we uh, if you're new to our channel, we don't, we're not necessarily a vlogging channel. We're a music channel where we, you know, talk about gear that we get at the store. We talk about teaching lessons. Um, and we answer questions FAQ style, which I love those videos. I love the FAQ ask RNA videos. But every now and then on the weekends, on Saturdays, we'll shoot a vlog for all of our international friends and family and customers who are just yeah you, know, you know interested like man what is it like to live in Texas what is it like and so we show you small town Texas life now if you saw last weekend's vlog you saw me go to my first IDPA contest match which is the International Defensive Pistol Association it's a shooting thing it's a shooting sports uh, thing where uh, people, and it's not just a Texas thing, it's all over the world. There are people in Canada who do IDPA. It's a competitive shooting. Uh, looks like it's raining up there. That's not good. It's a competitive shooting uh, thing where you go and you shoot cardboard targets from around um, obstacles. And, uh, you have to move, reload firearm, all that kind of stuff. So it's a, uh, it's a competitive sports type of thing involving, um, you know, surviving bad guy encounters. And it was fun. It's the first one I ever did. I had a great time. Um, today, this next Saturday, they have another shooting sports type of competition. This is a steel match, which is very different. And the guys last weekend told me, hey, <laughs> IDPA is a little complicated with the rules involved and how you approach a match in each scenario and how you shoot the targets and the scoring is a little complex for a beginner. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it was, you know, they said if you want to just have some fun, come to the steel match where you just shoot steel plates. What I understand, it's just you're going to shoot five steel targets from various distances in certain orders, and it's based on time. Like it's just a speed, it's a speed shooting thing. Hit the five targets in a certain order. Whoever has the fastest time, I guess, is the score. So they said, come out and do that. It's really fun, less rule intensive than IDPA matches. Although I really had fun at the IDPA. That was really super cool. So. We're gonna go out, this is gonna be my first steel target match, con competition, whatever. I have zero expectations of winning. And just like last week, I did not expect to win the IDPA match. We have some like literal master shooter guys, like professional like dudes who are live in East Texas and come out to the gun club I belong to. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna beat any of those dudes my very first try. So, uh, but the first several matches, they say, ah, it's just getting your feet wet, learning uh, the rules, learning the procedures and how things go, and just having fun. So this morning, steel match. I'm on my way to Big Rock Gun Club right now, which is only about, uh, you know, 20 minutes outside of Canton, out in the country, out in the woods, and that's where we're going.
today. Can you tell where I'm at? Yet again. Um, this is really cool. They're doing targets this time. So they're out there doing the obstacle course of targets. So it's a lot of ping pinging instead of paper targets. There's Ryan. Oh, what a point right there. <laughs> the boys are at home. They didn't want to come this time. Nicholas didn't get home until like 1.30, so um, it was a little much to you see him peeking. <laughs> it's a dork. All right, range is hot. Here we go. Man, bye. Range is clear. He's our last shooter, guys, on that. Yeah. If you do it on your first shot, it's right down 2.8, 2.2. Yeah, 2.8. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you ready? He missed on his first shot and hit it on the second shot and was still like five. I am leaving the shooting range. Now I have to go to the house and <clears throat> get my stuff to uh, clean the clinic. And then um, crochet. Lots of crochet today. Lots and lots of crochet. Excuse me. So, it's going to be a good day. Ryan did really well. I think the more he gets used to it, uh, you'll see in the video, the, the better he got. So, and it helps, I think, that he goes last. 
so that they can watch the technique of all the guys and get a good headspace of what he's expected of him. So, for those of you who are wondering, I am on a very private, very long county road where there's little, well, there's no little, there's zero traffic <laughs> other than a deer that might run across or possum or a raccoon um, gravel road. I'll let you see. I need to hold it back together. We just finished band practice. Saturday's vlog day, Brianna, by the way. Fun. You're just like, so excited. Oh, you're recording. Yes, I am. <laughs> Tell us about your shirt. It's Jason. Well, it's gray, it's blank, it's got a pop. Oh. <laughs> no, the, the cool one. Oh, that's him. He's got the cooler shirt in the room. So, uh, I didn't film any of that because I couldn't put it up anyways because Led Zeppelin hates people. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Not Led Zeppelin. Apparently we hate ourselves too because they blocked our music from his page. <laughs> no, did they? Well, it's because yeah, it's... Yeah, remember you, you, uh, you were listening to it and it was on the... Um... Yeah, copyright claims. Yeah. Does UMG own it? No way. Is it UMG I, I that sent, like, owns I everything? Claims. No, I sent claims that I own the copyright and they even took it off my Instagram. Yeah, it's a, probably something in the distribution. But we played but Stairway. They don't, they don't have enough money yet, That though. band, Awkward Pause, man. They're a bunch of butts. <laughs> They're going to take all our money. <laughs> take Freaking. Music off of all Freaking. I just want to buy a pizza. That's it. <laughs> we bought pizza. Yeah, I want we some more. Is 3D still open? Three to four days, yes. Okay, are they open today? They are. What time? Google, Google it. 11 to 8.30. Really? Cause I feel like I want a pizza because I didn't shoot as good as I wanted to at the shooting match. Mm. Sometimes I did really good. Sometimes so, I did not. Yeah, as good. I feel bad. I, I eat pizza too. So I deserve pizza. I feel pizza. good. I eat pizza. No, I feel okay. I eat pizza. <laughs> That's all you do. And then if I'm sad, I just eat pizza. Everything eat pizza. equals pizza. pizza. And then when I'm pizza really excited pizza. and happy, I have pizza from Jerry's. Not Jerry's. It's a good day. When I'm not happy, I have three D pizza. I don't think I've had Jerry's in birthday party. Jerry's I was about to say party. probably it's a birthday, birthday party. party. <laughs> It's the only way that you're eating it. Yep. So don't we just finished practicing. Since they don't open their doors anymore, I don't like them sitting in line. So. Not a line. <laughs> you expect me to wait? Drive through. The, the drive through. Yeah. It's a drive through line. There's a yeah, line for drive through. And they don't tell the person to pull out and we'll bring it out. No, they, they, they just wait for that make person you to sit be there done. and you die the whole time. You die a little inside. Yes. And then you have the pizza and you feel better.
finished up a little practice of my own, going over a couple of the songs, working over some parts. Went and fed my dad's cat, because my dad is in the hospital right now. He's got a hernia that he should have had taken care of. Should have had taken care of a couple weeks ago, and he put it off like a big uh, goofy goober. And then it got worse. So now he's in the hospital. My sister's there with him, taking care of him. Well, be waiting. They have to wait a couple of days before they can do anything because of blood thinners. See, guys, you get to the point you need a bunch of blood thinners. And if you need a surgery, you can't always have that surgery right away because you got blood thinners. Because you eat like a billy goat and don't eat healthy. Anyways, so went over and took care of my dad's cat. Make sure she had some food and water. Now I'm going home. Crazy times. Uh, what time is it? It's 6.30. 6.30, we're getting our afternoon, evening walk in. You been running around with your mom all day? Yes, yeah. Having fun, how's Vanessa? She's fine. She's good? Yeah. Good. She is. Getting our walk on. And then I still have to go up to the church and play with some monitors. I lost my train of thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Connect some monitors because we redid we redid the sound system the church this week with the new snake and a new digital board and plugging everything in. And we, there's of course some hiccups every time you do that. So well, after we get back from walking and take a shower, I'm gonna go see if I can plug in a monitor. How very exciting. Yes, super. So excited. Hi, Brian. What's up? Are you, you on a one crouton diet? Yeah. Chicken tacos. You know what? Tortillas. What? Low carb tortillas. You know what I've been doing? Yeah, it's good. Get those packages. That's what I get. Oh, hold well, on. Two packages. All right. All right. Later, dude. Good to see you. Good out here. I parked right in front of where you need to go. Oh, here we go. Well, <laughs> I didn't make it to the church to hook up the um, monitor. I'll just take care of it in the morning and get there early for sound check. I did go to Walmart, took out some cart cam, said I needed some chocolate almond milk. Somebody drank my chocolate almond milk that I use for my protein shakes. And uh, now I'm gonna edit a little bit. And uh, I've got, I still have to get up last week's vlog, which I've, it's been such a crazy week for us at work and just stuff going on with family. That I've never had a chance to edit last week's Saturday vlog. So I'm going to finish it right now, get some work done, and then call it a night. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it, the music needs you. We need the music to keep it alive for the next generation. Bye, guys and girls. <laughs>